What's happening, friends? Welcome to Unlocked, the world's number one Xbox show. Uh, we are heading towards the holidays, but we're still here for you, and we've got plenty of stuff to cover. So, coming up on this week's episode, uh, the Game Awards are happening this week. We're going to make some predictions on what we think we might see there. We've got a new Mega Man game announced, Capcom uh, dusting off the old IPs and, and uh, getting us something new there. A new tennis game, which I'm hoping might fill the void left by Topspin. We'll talk about that. Destiny 2 uh, gets a very, very unique bit of meat space integration, uh, which we'll tell you about, and we'll see what else comes up. So, I'm Ryan McCaffrey. We've got Miranda Sanchez joining us once again. Great Hello. to see you. Alana Pierce, welcome Hi. back. Missed you last week. Yeah. Mark Medina. Jump, 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 jump. That's not your thing. I don't care. <laughs> oh, taking it. Taking it. Yeah. Well, like, Finnegan he's off the, the, the mega shock instead. The, <laughs> yeah, several much was, I was <laughs> saving it for when me and Sean Finnegan would be on the podcast. Yeah. But like, he's like transferred departments now. And it's like, yeah. I, I just, like, the odds that me and him are ever going to be on a podcast together again is just so low. So I'm stealing it. What is he going to do? It's yours. What's I he going to do? He, he's not in the control room. Oh, right now. Now. Also, Mark again, and the shark. Uh, Maggie is here. Daisy. I do that every time. I do that. I, oh, I do it Daisy too. Daisy is here. Don't she worry. Is so here. hard. She, she, um, Daisy is here. And this if is you're listening to the audio paper. version, please uh, check out the video because she's so cute. Yep. Yep. She, she literally was... ate my paper minutes before we started. She did. It was, I it figured, was excellent. She stomped it. She never throw that out. She, she, she literally put her mouth on it she's going and to chomped drop it in half. 100%. Please don't fall. That's right. I'm so confused. Um... Yeah, you can you can compare if we just if I just keep bringing her in on a semi regular basis yeah. and and having her on the show on the desk, Someone we'll just see how big she gets. Uh, <laughs> anyway, not on the desk anymore. So game awards are coming up. You know, we I know that some of you when you listen to this, the game awards will have already happened. I'm yep. sorry, but we could uh, we would have had to hold the show for what would effectively be like a day and a half, and I just wasn't wasn't willing to do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully enough of you will hear or slash watch the show before the game awards. Figure, all right, Keeley's been hyping it up. Let's see Let's see if we can predict what's going to happen. Sure. Uh, so we'll do kind of the usual round-robin format. Miranda, I'll go your way first. What uh, What do you think Mr. Keeley might might uh, bust out for us? I think there's going to be some good drama between Keeley and Kojima <laughs> on stage. He's going he's to yeah. propose this year? <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> and then Kojima would be like, I'm sorry, we're just friends. <laughs> Our heart belongs to someone else. You know what? I would give them major props if they actually did that. Oh, oh my gosh. Be if they actually made so a skit. Happy, yeah. If they like just went straight in it, because like there's so much talk about like there's a Reddit thread about like who's Kojima's best friend. Oh, oh yeah. No. Cause he's, there's a few of them. There's the uh, the Australian guy who made Framed. He's yeah. like in his bio, like Kojima's best friend because they hung out <laughs> times. Yeah. It's like it's it's intense. Him and Mark Cerny went on that tour to try to find the engine for Death Stranding. And right. He so retweeted they spent me a lot once. Of time together. I might put it in my bio also. Oh, yeah. <laughs> retweets. Wow. Equal, I met him one time. <laughs> retweets don't equal endorsements, but they do equal best friendship. Yeah, yes. there you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works now. Um, you know, I saw a legally him. binding best friend contract. <laughs> oh. Yes. I saw him once at TGS. Like he was in the lobby of my hotel. I was just like, it's Kojima. He's very nice. Ooh, I've not had the pleasure of meeting yeah. him. Very yeah. nice yeah. man. Yeah, He's I didn't want to very bother. polite. And it's, you know, because the interview that I did with him was all translated of course it's mm. funny like just every now and then he'll laugh and then i would catch myself laughing at his joke even though i couldn't understand it yeah. <laughs> it's just like oh, oh kojima classic you and then i'm like i don't know what he's saying but i'm laughing at this like japanese joke i want to be i want to be friends with kojima someday be awesome. he's got great taste in music and oh, and yeah. in movies and in, seemingly in and life and pe so people anyway last the prediction year, kojima is yeah. great <laughs> last year uh Kojima was was given a like sort of lifetime achievement award. Mm -hmm. So you're, I think what you're really trying to say maybe is that you think we're going to get some sort of Death Stranding something. I don't think it's going to be gameplay. No, but okay. I think it'll be another trailer. Like it'll be a yeah. character reveal trailer. <gasps> like another like a Guillermo del Toro type. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, because he's going to be there. There's a. I mean, Guillermo del Toro is going to be there along with Kojima and Norman Reedus uh, Norman, and yeah. the whole the cast. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. lot of a lot of other people. So I'm pretty sure they're going to reveal something with that. I don't think they're ready to do gameplay yet. I think it's still way too early. I don't think that game exists. Oh. Yeah. It's they're they're still <laughs> drafting. Cheating the tag. Um. I also think. Sorry. Don't look at me a, like that. It's got a sharp right. pin in it. She was eating that. that. Oh, oh no. great. <laughs> Don't eat that. Get rid of Alana that saved your life. Girl. <laughs> You're quite oh. welcome. <laughs> nope, <laughs> stay there. Um, I also think, yes, yes, Daisy. Oh. Oh. Uh, that is a PlayStation exclusive, of course. <laughs> yeah. So get that out of here. Yeah. But it's a, it's a valid prediction. Yep. It's a valid yeah, prediction. Yeah, it's a big one, like too. A lot of people care. Yeah, they, they've made such a big deal about Kojima being there and the cast being there. So I think there's obviously getting ready for something with that. Um. 
probably Zelda DLC date and gameplay. Well, yeah, Anum is there as well, I believe. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna. And they said to Zelda this year, so it's like, come yeah. on. Yeah, and uh, they, they don't have that much of this what year left. I guess two years <laughs> ago, uh, Jeff had that little sort of tiny little gameplay snippet from like Miyamoto on a TV. Yeah. It was like uh, Zelda Inception yeah. footage. Yeah. So you know, Jeff's well, it'd be a great in it'd be a great guys. time like to just like remind people like i know i know nobody's forgotten zelda but yeah. like right before the end of the year right before the holidays hey zelda yeah i agree it's a good time not to that that game, but it did just come out help, on switch but yeah not yeah. that it needs any help oh, but just like hey guys hey, Skyrim. Hey. I, yeah i'm weirdly i don't know again welcome to nbc i'm weirdly not <laughs> uh i'm not like super pumped for zelda dlc just because i haven't even done nearly everything in the game yeah. as it is me neither but i know plenty of people have and are mm-hmm. would will just thirst for more yeah. ready for more me. breath of the wild stuff so then um, for my final prediction please this is like the wish list thing i want a below reveal <laughs> i want them to come yeah, back a and say, hey, yeah we're ready we're ready as well, Ryan, i don't think i mentioned i played it yes um, please thank you yes this is, <laughs> i played it, it it's back yeah uh and you know we asked what, what was it? A day of the devs, which would have been maybe three weeks, ago, uh, maybe a month ago. Uh, yeah, end of yeah. November, I think yeah. that was. Um, so I played it, and it's. I mean, it's gorgeous. Uh, and I most specifically cared about the sound design, so I was just like listening so intently because yeah. they had headphones so you could wear um, to play it. Mm. And yeah, it was gorgeous. But we asked them, you know, I, I tried to ask in a super candid way. That's like I'm not media. I was like, uh, <laughs> this game, when's it? Uh, when's it out? So when is your product <laughs> releasing yeah, to stores? When, uh, <laughs> Consumers want to know, yeah. um, and they said they have no idea, but they think they're in the final stretch. <gasps> so that's exciting. Mm. Maybe they really oh, that would be nice. It, well, it's, you know, it's they, super hot. They, they did <laughs> ship uh, the Steven Universe Save yeah, the Light game. They did. So theoretically, uh, I mean, hopefully, yeah, they can now it put was this received well too. Like, yeah, he's a good studio. Wait, put so this bat from you know move this from to the front burner again right. from the back burner. So that's that's why I think it could be coming. And it yeah. could be ready to talk about it. If not now, great. maybe E3. And yeah. I think, so below may be the Xbox exclusive that's been in development the longest. Remember? Because it was at E3 2013. Yeah, you might be right. At the, I, I played Aww. it at their showcase, and it was great. Well, I think Cappy like just went on to do licensed games to make a ton of money, which is how mm-hmm. a lot of indie studios well, fund the next game. You gotta, it's right. They got to pay the bills. They got <laughs> He's got a you know a team that he has to support. That oh, my Nathan next. has to support. So, I totally get it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, boy, I hope you're right. I hope hope that does indeed come uh, out of the woodwork. Oh, hi. All right. Oh, this is great. Oh. Alana, so like try to focus. You have a puppy in your face. I do. Yes. But so pretty. <laughs> I will say everything two days. Focus. What do you mean? Like, yeah, there's get, nothing. All right. Nothing's happening. What, what it's, could this happen? Is normal. Look, at that, look at that little tail. <laughs> she is so not. Cute. <laughs> the, the other time she's been here, she's laid totally know, nicely. Not today. Um, not today. today. She's not up. Not today, about. son. You are a podcast you host. Are, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, all right. Um, so game award. There are a couple of things that I know, and I, you know, I can't say anything. But there's one of them I'm just going to say. Um, a studio that you know is making a new game, and you should be excited about it. And there'll be a trailer. Yes. Uh, <laughs> wow. I don't know if everyone actually knows <laughs> the studio. That but it Woo! Down. There's this a lot of studios. A new, a new thing from an indie studio, and it's cool. Um, I think we're going to see Sea of Thieves. That well, is in part based that, on a tweet. Yes, but... it didn't Greenberg confirm that? Oh, Greenberg? <laughs> oh, I didn't know he did. I thought he was, may, maybe not. Somebody. But somebody what was... I am expecting, or what my prediction is, yeah. is... Uh, voice acting. We're going to see voice acted characters. Oh, that'd be so mm. good. NPCs with voice acting. That's what I, say that's what I want. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm. Here's your cigar. Not actually expecting, but predicting. I like uh, that. As a false prediction of a thing that I want, kind of like Miranda's list. Mm. Um, <sighs> um, yes, they confirmed that it will be. I or there's news. So. Greenberg did. Oh, there's news. news. Okay. I well, wonder if it might be. Date. Well, I don't think it'll be. News coming at the I'll bet it's not a final game release date. I'll bet it's like an open beta date. That would be my yeah. Be that's my a good take. call. I've actually played the uh, alpha what uh, four times now. There. I'd like to play it just once. It's, it's great. <laughs> we got to get more <laughs> in there. At the end of so an open beta would be well. Did you good. if you heeded the advice from last week's show? You had uh, until December first, which is now <gasps> come and gone, oh, no. to sign up for the insider program. At which oh. yeah, there you go. I would have to go you, back in time, and unless yeah. you're incredibly wealthy. Probably not. You possible. can't go. You, rich people can go think, back in time. I don't think only, it's possible. Only rich people. <laughs> what? I don't only think rich it's people. possible. I'm not <laughs> rich enough to go back in time, so I'll have to wait for the open beta. One day that'll I guess be a so. Thing. <laughs> um, trying to think of another one. 
We can come back around if you want to marinate on that for a few minutes. What if we, we get a new game announced that's not the one that I know of, and uh, <laughs> it's a it's it's a it's a cool dating sim. Yay! That's made up. We got a dating sim announced. All right, going with it. And, and then that'd be cool. Uh, there's also DLC for. I was gonna say Dream Daddy, but I was like, it's another Danny. Oh, Dream, Dream Daddy's <laughs> coming to consoles. There we go. Oh, how about say, why don't you want to? How about Cuphead DLC? You want to go there? Ooh, that'd be cool. Wouldn't that? I I don't think it's gonna happen. At least. Well, if right it did away. happen, it would be very far off. Yeah. Yeah, because it's still twelve of them, fourteen yeah. of them. Oh, yeah. also the Shick Razor will be on stage again. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I forgot about that. So I've you, seen that guy like a few times, and it's, it's just so I get weird out every the time. The anthropomorphic <laughs> Shick Razor, which no. is just very uncomfortable. One of the weirdest mascots or brand yeah. image things you. And that's coming from uh, people who had a, a hot pockets party at E3. We did, yeah. <laughs> that's, with yeah. a pop on the kettle black, walking here. around. That is a have, fair point. I the stuffed animal for that. It was yeah. really weird. Fair point. Remember those like pillows and everything? I was like, oh man. <laughs> Right. I'm actually going to the Game Awards this year. This is my oh, first nice. year of going, so I'm actually going to be there, which is cool. Um, it should be fun. Yeah, it's it's interesting. It's just in a theater, and it's quite small. Cool. And it's, I don't know. I felt is like it at the Nokia theater? I'm not sure. Um, but I think it, it's probably going to be a lot more intimate than like they make cool. it look, which It'll I'm all for. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is Kyle Bossman hosting again? Is that not confirmed yet or anything? We don't know. Didn't weren't there sort of a bunch of different presenters last yes. year? Yes. Yeah. So Rather I think isn't Keeley's the host? Well, yeah, yeah Keeley's yes. like the main host, but then Kyle Bossman is kind of. They have like, a bunch of he's presenters. He's old GT, yeah, so like he's like oh, yeah, he's he like was, the yeah, that's secondary. Right. That's right. I remember. Yeah. I'm in the crowd where Jeff Keeley's like on like balconies. Yeah. And so. yeah. <laughs> also, um, Andrea Renee, who is like a friend of IGN, who's worked yeah. on a yes, bunch of absolutely. Is uh, nominated for the Training Gamer Award, which she is. She got my vote. Yeah, I voted for her. I've also been voting for Able Gamers. Um, yes. He was oh, another person. Yeah. I've literally yeah. been voting for the two of them, and no disrespect to any of the other content. Other people, I just don't know them. Not <laughs> but, even uh, disrespect to doctor disrespect. <laughs> I don't know who he is. I think we voted. I have no idea. I think we that. voted for that person because Dan was like, "What's a cool streamer?" And then, and I think Tom Monks was like, "Doctor disrespect" or something. It was just like, <laughs> just kind of came cool. out of nowhere. But uh, for anyone who doesn't know, Able Gamers is mm -hmm. um, a charity that basically helps with um, accessibility controls yes. for gamers Which who may not be able to play. They make like controls. custom controllers. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's really cool. So yeah, the guy who created that is also in the running, um, and Andrea is also just awesome and has worked with us a ton. Mm -hmm. So yeah, mm -hmm. you can vote every day leading up until the game awards. So you have one day. Yes, <laughs> today and tomorrow. It's so weird. You literally go to Google and you just type like trending gamer it's vote. It's so nice. And it's just like right there. Yeah, as and a Google, it's, it's just as with a your Google Facebook, result. I think. You're getting you just... really close to the edge, and I don't like it at all. I don't I, think she'll jump. <laughs> no, she's smarter than that. But I've, she does seem a little restless. All right, she, you, you want to hop down and just wander the studio? That's fine. Uh, Mark, good. give me another prediction. While yes, I do this. sir. What do we got here? Okay, so these are just like wants mostly. <laughs> Same. I mean, I think that's what we yeah. really <laughs> use predictions for most of the time. It's like want some stuff. I want this. Here's please. my wish list. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. I want to hear more about the Resident Evil 2 HD remake. Oh, boy. <laughs> Does Capcom think we forgot? <laughs> That's like, what I'm, just, I'm like, come on, guys. Do they think we just don't know about that anymore? Like, what? where is that? Also, Final Fantasy VII. Where's that at? Oh, oh my no. gosh. What? Oh, no. my gosh. If they did something for that, I'd freak out. That would be crazy. I mean, it's about time. That's so nice. When was that? Yeah. E3 three years ago? Yeah. Shoot. It was E3 three years ago. I thought it was 2015. Ago. Is, so is it was definitely while it worked ago? here, so I think it was 25. You're right. I'm yeah. thinking it's e three E threes ago. Yeah, and I'm like, is that not three years ago? No, three mathematically it's two. But <laughs> yeah, ever since they changed uh, taking it internally, like we just haven't heard anything. And yeah. it's just super really weird nice to know the, uh, the episodic thing. Like I just, I still want to know how that works. I know. I think yeah. we. I, th I don't think they're gonna really put a ton of resources in until after Kingdom Hearts is out. Probably fair, yeah. yeah. It's because they're going to be so similar in combat. But that game's we'll never coming out. So we'll we'll yeah, now oh. they got to throw the oh, Simpsons. Well, no. <laughs> well, we got a whole new world. Thing, because of the uh, <laughs> Disney Fox acquisition. Um, if it oh, goes I love your goes tweet through. about like we're, we're going to be in the game, like IGN, because they're just buying everybody. <laughs> that was my, was my joke tweet. <laughs> it was which so good. A surprising number of people have taken seriously. Oh, no. It was. Oh, no. It could not have been more obviously ludicrous because that I Disney said, bought the video game industry <laughs> or like yeah, the video all, game media yeah, industry. And I, and, <laughs> and I mean, that, and that IGN World would be added in, and Jonathan Dornbush would be a, an NPC. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. I hope maybe he a party would be an NPC. So weird. But uh, he'd, be, he'd be good. Yeah, I pick him. The the Disney Fox acquisition for anyone who doesn't would have, know basically has been rumored for a really long time, but mm -hmm. we have like been told repeatedly that it might be happening next week, um, meaning that Disney will get 
uh, Wolverine. Yeah, and the X-Men. Fantastic Deadpool Four. And X-Men, which yeah. means good things for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and also for <laughs> future <laughs> video yeah. games that we can actually have X-Men and Marvel characters in this. Yeah. Chris Evans said that he wanted to do a movie where he plays Captain America and the Human Torch. <laughs> because now, like, because yeah, you know? Oh, right. like, well, so also, he wants Hugh Jackman Wolf, said he would come back as Wolverine, potentially, <gasps> if he so could crazy. be with the Avengers. If so be, oh, it's pretty cool. cool. Uh, so Resident Evil 2 HD remake. Hopefully yeah, we hear something one. about it. <laughs> uh, I, I like Resident Evil 2. Um, Code Veronica is my favorite, though. I'm just going to throw that out well, there. Did you play 7? Yeah. There's new DLC yeah, coming out cool. of that next week, I think. There is. Yeah. yeah. I like 7 the, a lot. Uh, the Chris Redfield DLC, not a hero. Right, which is actually the first story DLC rather than like fun DLC, which they've all been Yeah, cool, they've all been like escape rooms, like the birthday lot, tapes though. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the birthday tapes is like one of the best parts of that game. Oh, I agree. <laughs> it's yeah. so good. Yeah, it's like Saw, but not as bad as the Saw games. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so that would be awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'd love to hear something about Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I, I feel kind of Xboxy towards that. I don't know if You think that go... could get announced, huh? <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> you know, it's very possible. Skyrim yeah. was announced at the Game Awards all yeah. those years so back. So when does the movie come out? I don't oh, know. if Terry's it's out a summer there, movie, she would yeah. know. Yeah, she because it would make sense to have it come out the same time vaguely same as the yeah. movie. Well, the, yeah, the movie's coming out next year, right? So so I would, yeah, because so we've already a, had a trailer. So. A yeah. fall announcement. So then the big question would be, so are they going the Rise of the Tomb Raider route and getting any Xbox exclusivity again? Like, who knows? Didn't yeah. work very well. well that's it, that's the, what I'm worried about, yeah. The, yeah, the, the PR definitely seemed to backfire on it. Yeah. yeah. But that was also one of the first games we had that was launch exclusive. Like That's I remember the, the phrasing, and I I know mm -hmm. that because I was in the room. I still worked for Xbox then. And I was like, okay, I know what this means. No right. one else does. Oh no. Yeah, I, I just want like at least one more game in the I call it the Luddington universe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would I would like one more game. Well, you're them. getting it. I mean, that game, you know, it's, yeah. it exists. All but yeah, yeah all but the revealed. emails. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so my last prediction was going to be that we might see Death Stranding gameplay. Miranda says no. No way. So I'm switching no it. I'm going to no. switch it. We're going to oh. see if if we end up seeing some sort of trailer or whatever, uh, Emma Stone's character is going to be revealed. Yeah, I think it's pretty likely that we will see whoever the female protagonist is. Yeah. Potentially Emma Stone. Yep. You really like La La Land. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to oh, Kojima really? Cast. <laughs> Can we start oh, we that? We talk about that. He likes spaghetti a lot. <laughs> we just talk yeah. about the Who things does he likes. He's been eating yeah, a lot of cup good. noodle lately. Oh. And then he yeah. he tweeted yeah. about it and cup noodle sent him a box of cup, no cup yeah. noodles, just like different kinds. Wow. One I of mean, my Norman favorite. Norman Reedus were sitting there with their, with their cup noodles. One of my favorite Kojima tweets good. is how he yeah. thinks uh, he's always creating games, including when he's on the toilet. He's like, like my brain is always thinking about creating video games, even when pooping. It's like it's just an excellent tweet. Like I'm sure it is. I believe you. It, yeah. Waste yeah. goes out, ideas go exactly. in. Exactly. <laughs> you know, got a brainstorm on the toilet. So, now. Yeah, it's why good. not? So yeah, if no gameplay, I'd love to see gameplay. But if that doesn't happen, some Emma Stone uh, reveal would be nice. Like a cinematic, cool. yeah. Yeah, like if they're gonna do another cinematic trailer, which honestly I'm fine with. The first two have been fantastic and i know it's going to make a lot of people mad because it's just like what is this game they're just going to keep putting out trailers that well, mean nothing but uh I'm if they are that, yeah the trailers are <laughs> like so good films. so yeah if they're going to do another one which you know they did the first what seven minutes they or they did seven minutes of uh death stranding last game awards so yeah yeah i want to see i uh, could Emma Stone. yeah i could see them doing some like really cool intricate like reveal to what the the game actually is. Um, and we've seen yeah. that before with different kind of game campaigns where they have different sort of promotions yeah. that are online or have yeah. weird websites. Yeah, I can websites. I can see them doing something very obscure because yeah. like I mean it's yeah it's the first time that Kojima hasn't had to worry about Konami. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah. It's like plus then the puzzle be continues because then there's that whole thing where it's like. You know, uh, Norman Reedus is standing there with the baby. The baby disappears at the exact moment that the baby appears in the jar for Gerardo's Horo. So it's like, it'd be like if there's an Emma Stone trailer now, so then you won't see any. Where that baby at? Like, yeah, where's the baby? How did it make it into that trailer? Or how did that? How does that trailer connect? I'll ask Chloe when this is over. Again, we could talk about this for a <laughs> yeah. long time. Yeah. Um, but uh, so those are them. Resident Evil, right. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, more Death Stranding. Have you gone yet, Ryan? <laughs> 
No, oh, I'm. Uh, you've been on Puppy Judy. Yeah, she's not. She's. Not, I don't know. I might not be able to bring her back on the show after this because she's being super restless. I think we got energy like, today. Like yeah. play with her a bunch before bringing her on. Yeah, yeah. So tired. Guess, yeah, well, last do time, laps around. Last the time we took like a big walk before we came on. That would be mm. the podcast. So all right. Anyway. Uh, I think the new Rocksteady games finally getting announced because oh, I sweet. thought it was going to happen at E3. Yeah. Again, I'm basing this off of nothing but but my own uh, semi. Well, there could be a little bit of basis. They just put out that logic. tweet about like, hey, we just hit a milestone. Which we're eating were breakfast. Like, <laughs> then they were like, we do that every okay. month. Don't look into this. But then it's like, well, we probably you are probably just trying to cover it up. <laughs> Posted a video about people eating breakfast. Yeah. That's so, a pretty dramatic thing to something. point out. Because uh, again, it's you know. Arkham Knight was four uh, years ago. No, no, twenty. I believe it's twenty fifteen. Wait, really? Arkham Knight, Knight? the last. I thought it was yeah, twenty fourteen. No, I think the, you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, then twenty six. Because I remember us arguing in a room about whether or not it deserved a uh, game of the yeah. year. Yeah, in twenty six. And everyone but Dan. Said they no. shipped the Arkham VR in the fall yeah, for yeah. PlayStation VR, which was clearly a small team. Like, that was not their whole yeah. team. It was 2015. Uh, it but like but, still, way but back still key then, but members yeah. from Rocksteady. Yes. Yeah. Like, they made So, and, and my point being, it's been well long enough where I think it's, I'll bet that we very well could get an announcement of that game at the Game Awards, and then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing it's a, a 20, fall 2018 release, that could be so, which would be great. And I'll just go further out on the limb here. Um and say I think it it is going to be a Justice League game. Yeah. There was that I rumor so. from forever ago that it was going to be like the what do you call it? I think it was the Silver Age, like from right. Justice League. And I think uh, you know these they are a wholly owned WB subsidiary. They make WB property things. They're not going to be making an original IP. I would bet an In and Out lunch on that for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think. You know, I think it's going to be Justice League. They'll connected with that makes more the sense. Arkham games. Yeah. Nope. Not no, necessarily. Yeah. Not but I mean, like, I, I just mean like that is that Batman from Justice League. The Batman. Oh, I don't. Arkham. I mean, not oh. if it's silver. I don't know if it'll be. I'm not going to say yes or no on the Silver Age thing, but who knows? Maybe. Uh, I've wanted a Justice League game for but, such a long time. Yeah, like that would be one way. I think. You know, we've all talked about. Uh, or a lot of us have talked about, oh, man, we'd love to finally get a good Superman game. Mm -hmm. But then, oh, like, you know, Arrow could be cool or or Green Lantern could be cool. Well, this could be a way to, for them to, you know, they have they have the talent to, to pull it off, uh, not only pull it off, but it's like, well, then if they do Superman, but it doesn't totally work, you've got these other characters to sort of fall yeah. back on. The problem on. with Superman is that he's too OP, so he's yeah. very hard to make as a character. But shout out to Injustice 2, very good campaign. Yeah. So and they deal with all those characters well. There's that. that. Uh, I think focusing solely on Xbox here, I think Crackdown 3 comes out of its uh, hibernation state. All right. And we get a uh, new sort of proper gameplay trailer for that. Uh, you know, we haven't seen it since we played it at E3. It's so not a bad time. It's been about six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and allegedly well, that's that supposed to be early 2017. Yeah. Spring, Spring, I, yeah. I think they said. Actually, uh, Microsoft still owes us uh, in and out for that one. We said <laughs> on the show, they were like, all of oh, you yeah. have to buy us in and out if the game is delayed. <laughs> so, um, in and out. Uh, good. So, I think we will see Crackdown 3 at the Game Awards. And, you know, I'm going to go out and say, I think uh, Mr. Jeff Keeley's bagged himself the first gameplay debut of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. I can say that was that was a really beautiful E3 reveal with yeah. the uh, the piano. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I could remember the the name of the artist, the name of the musician that played. Mm -hmm. uh, no but idea. then there was that sort of little concepty video that so played behind it. So yeah. yeah, would love to see Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It is also like doing it at the Game Awards is a good time to focus on Xbox exclusives because it's right before PSX. Like mm -hmm. it is True. a smart time to be like, hey, good by point. the way, look what we got. Yeah. Like it's, it's also a good way to like end the year with saying, hey, don't worry, we have things coming. Yeah. I was just going to say the same yeah. thing. Yeah. The like timing. if there, there's this first party crisis, no matter how real or fake you think it may be, mm -hmm. uh, it is perceived that way. And what better way to sort of head into 2018 by showing off a couple of things that are like, all right, here we, you know, 2018 is going to be cool on Xbox, yeah. you guys. Yeah. They well, certainly have things coming. It's just refreshing that and kind of keeping everybody in mind yeah, totally. is good to do too. Yes. All right, well, let's move on to the news here. Just a few things. I expect the news to be ramping down uh, over the course Ooh. of the week. So I think we've got uh, we'll, we've got a show for you next week, and then I think we might have like a sort of bonus episode thing. So I believe we have one regular episode and one 
sort of special, quote unquote, special episode uh, before we're done for the year. So that's just so you set to set your expectations of how Unlocked is going to go for the remainder of 2017. Uh, but for now, the news uh, this was interesting that uh, this was announced when it was and not part of the Game Awards. Mm-hmm. Capcom announcing Mega Man 11. Yep. Came out of absolutely nowhere. Totally At nowhere. Like 11 a.m. yesterday. It was <laughs> super yeah. weird. Just drop. Two, it's a two and a half D gameplay well, game. Was it their thirtieth anniversary? And they kind of yes. Oh, and they I had kind of teased. That. Yeah, it was an anniversary stream. Yeah, yeah. they had kind of teased like, hey, there's might be some news coming. We didn't think there'd be a whole new game. Yeah, and uh, I was looking carefully at the sort of uh, the splash screen at the end of the trailer. That is, you know, the title of the game and then all the fine print. There was no reference to a any third party developer. So this mm-hmm. does appear to be internally developed Capcom game. So. Yep. Uh, this should, you know, Cat Mega Man's been one of their biggest name franchises for so long. And yep. I have personally been very critical of Capcom this generation for how little, uh, how small their new game output has been. It's yeah. just been remake after oh, reissue. We are getting Okami next week, remaster, which is the only HD remake I've ever wanted this badly in my <laughs> Well, there you go. And it's so. never been on Xbox. So yeah. it's like, I'm on Xbox next week. I'll, I'll give, I'm gonna give a pass. I'm so on that excited. One. About and then it. also <laughs> announced with this uh, Mega Man X collection yeah. for Xbox One, yes. PS4, and Switch and PC. Yeah, so that's I love the see. X game, so that'll be fun. So late 2018 for Mega Man 11. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm neither sort of hyped by this or or you know annoyed at it. It's like it. all right, I'll you know take a look and be yeah. curious to see it. It's interesting. I I'm. Definitely old enough for OG Mega Man. I didn't mm-hmm. play them on the on the mm-hmm. NES, but they were they never quite resonated with me the way they did. Say uh, my friend Colin Moriarty, who's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like his all time favorite series. But plenty of respect for Mega Man. Glad it's uh, it's going to continue. I wonder if it's going to be a full price sixty dollar game. Or well, nine and ten were game. were not. Full yeah, price. right. I mean, uh, they were they were sprite art, which yes. is arguably more expensive to make than what they've made well but uh they weren't full price games so yeah. I, I would expect this one to not be probably a reasonable Maybe 40 dollars or something yeah. yeah yeah i could see that all right uh any other tennis video game tennis fans am i the only one like i like the mm-hmm. mario the ones i have that one guy that i've spoken <laughs> about before on my um xbox live friends list which is like small and has people that i've just found on games that have been there for like a very long time yeah who just plays tennis games Always. He's playing like Tom Spin or whatever. Constantly. So I've always been curious about them, but never actually played them. So well, he also plays tennis in real life, so it's his thing. It yeah. I mean, out of nowhere, we got a new tennis game announced called AO Tennis. Oh, is that the Australian oh, Australian oh. Open Tennis? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh it is out soon, January sixteenth, and uh built in collaboration with Tennis Australia. Good friends of mine. Developer Big <laughs> Ant claims AO Tennis will be the first game of its kind to be developed using statistical match play data for each of the dozens of licensed players it will feature. <clears throat> According to the announcement, Big Ant has used data showing which shots the included players have historically opted to use in specific circumstances throughout their matches and has applied that data to their AI versions. Uh, the CEO, Ross Simon, saying, quote, with previous tennis games, the world number one would be challenging to beat because his or her in-game attributes would be set to merely make fewer errors. That worked well at the time, but we've taken things to the next level. Uh, in AO Tennis, Rafael Nadal is the hardest player to beat because in-game he plays like his real-life counterpart. He plays a game style befitting the number one player in the I world. I love the idea that this is like as hard as Punch-Out or something. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Rafael yeah. Nadal is just incredibly difficult to hate yeah. him. Yeah, uh, so I, I've, uh, this makes me happy. I, I have loved video game tennis I mean, going back a pretty far ways, but especially, I mean, for you OG Xbox fans, the original Top Spin was just an amazing game. Like, it, there was something about it. It was almost perfect. Mm. Um, it used, if any of you, again, you got you to gotta be old or have a good memory, uh, XSN. Anybody remember XSN, the Xbox Sports Network, before EA was putting their, making their games online on Xbox? Microsoft launched their own initiative with Topspin, with uh, the football game, NFL Fever, with the, uh, I think, the basketball game, whose name escapes me, NBA Inside Drive. There we go. And then uh, Lynx 2004. 
the golf game were all so it was basically like we sort of take it for granted now but you could you'd play in the game and then you could go on the XSN website and see all your stats and like you could set up <laughs> tournaments cool. with it was Aww. really cool at the time remember this is 2003 but topspin was just a great great tennis game that I played so much. I it was. I got so good at it. I was at one point ranked like number thirteen in the world. Wow! Wow! And that, that's as high. And then the problem is like one loss, especially to somebody lower ranked. Oh yeah. Oh, that high. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what it was you. called. I, Did you use um the uh, glass door? Was it the the the, the oh the smart glass? Smart glass. Smart glass came way later. Right. But way later. The thing that I always wanted to happen with smart glass, and I did used to use it. I would have like my iPad on while I was playing something, is that I always wanted that kind of thing for it to like show me my stats while yeah. I was playing something. Like it's a mm. really cool partnership. I liked smart glass a lot. Yeah. I've liked like, a lot of the Xbox peripherals that nobody else used, but it was like especially <laughs> very very cool for Black Flag. Like mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Like the, if they use that, because they still use the Xbox app. It's the best way to customize your avatar. It's yep. definitely like super easy yeah, to do it, on the app. I use it for whenever I'm watching Netflix. And if I have if a I friend have who's my... like, hey, add me, and I'll just do it like on my phone immediately. Like, oh, yeah. I love being able to do that stuff. But you like... bring up an interesting, somewhat tangential point, but still, it's like, yeah, remember even at the, it was the beginning of this generation, mm -hmm. the, the second screen experience yeah. was yeah. like yeah. the thing. Everybody mm -hmm. had an app. You know, Destiny had their, I remember them yep. when I first went to the Destiny reveal at Bungie. They were talking about. They were talking up their companion app. I know. I use the Destiny app a lot. But you play. know, mm -hmm. every game had to have a companion. And now I feel like that. Even the PlayStation gone Vita away. was like, it's the review mirror for you know oh, Gran yeah. Turismo and That's stuff. That's right. And right. Like, yeah. yeah. It was like their whole like second That's screen so experience. But, uh, in any case, Topspin was always great. And then 2K bought it from Microsoft. Mm. Uh, and Topspin two was okay. Three got it back to awesome. Four was very good, and then I guess it stopped. And then selling they inserted it, it into Grand Theft Auto Five. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I played. Yes. I was thinking about. You're I was not like, wrong. What tennis games have I played? I know I've been playing like a lot of one. I was like, oh yeah, whenever GTA I played GTA, GTA, GTA Online, <laughs> I would just go straight to tennis. And I was like, time to play. <laughs> you can play two player. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah. Multiplayer online tennis, and it's pretty darn good tennis. We've, we found it, guys. They hid it from us. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, anyway, yeah, Topspin went away. So very curious about this Australian Open tennis. Uh, I'm sure Dan Stapleton's going to make me review it, but that's okay. <laughs> In January, what else? Um, there's nothing else? It's like at play. E3, I had to do every single car game interview, every racing game interview, because nobody else could. I did every single one. Where was Luke I Riley? think people, people Luke Riley couldn't come. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Melania, the only other person we have, and I had to do every single racing game interview. I'm like, so uh, weather patterns and uh, the uh, the Porsche license. That's right. new. Uh, you excited about that. I mean, I love cars. I love racing games. They still Man. have four wheels. <laughs> yeah. How are those like, wheels? <laughs> Different manufacturers. So, yeah, huh? if you are a fellow video game tennis fan, like me and or, and or just top spin specifically I'm gonna keep an eye on AO tennis here I have no idea if it's any good it this might be very similar it might be terrible well the Australian Open is cool I went but, once yeah it's fun uh the fact that they're clearly making an effort to make this a sim game with the levels they're going to on the AI that's a good sign yeah. hopefully your the, enthusiasm has gotten me curious hopefully the gameplay so. will be there to back it up yeah in fact, uh, I think after this show, I'm just gonna I'll just reach out <laughs> and see if I can get a preview build because that's yeah. sort of my job. Yeah, nice. Uh, let's Good. move on. Uh, speaking of second screen experiences, maybe this will be the new thing. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. the 2017 2018 version of the second screen experience. Uh, who's got Who's got a, a Alexa? You know, either the Echo or the Dot. Anybody? My mom does. Yeah, I, I, have, I, I didn't mean that as like a dig towards it. I guess, <laughs> I guess it <laughs> sounded my like I'm with my one. mom. <laughs> uh, uh, I have an Echo cool. Dot. We are a Google family, so. No, I have one. Yeah. And is it fun? Do you like it? Do you use it? Yeah, I use it. Um, it's especially good for like if I walk into my apartment and need to add something to my shopping list, or I use it for timers a lot. I use it for alarms. Mm. I, I doesn't know what shopping items, like what specific. Do you have to tell it, like, I want some Frosted Flakes or just get me some cereal? Maybe either. Either one? Yeah. You Ooh, what if you just tell it cereal? Fun. What does it get you? The Mario yeah, I, I cereal. Like cereal. <laughs> you Can you okay. controversial Alana Pierce opinion? Cereal is garbage. <gasps> so wow. I don't like cereal. Oh, no. It's just sugary. Well, what about exactly. Mario's? Sweet? Sweet. Oh, no. <laughs> Mario's. Yeah, maybe Super I Mario. can try that. Um, no, but uh, you can also use it to message other people who have Echo Dots, which I can use you? sometimes. Like, my hands are full or I'm cooking or whatever. Like, yeah. Can you just talk to it? Yeah, Alexa, you can kind of have some conversations with it. Is it, Alexa, is it I'm similar lonely. to like Siri, where it's like she doesn't really remember the Smart last child. thing you said? So yes, absolutely. You could just be like, "Hi Siri," and then 
you respond and mm. she has no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I mean, I use it to play music more than anything else, I would say. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. It seems to be the most used function. It's also like a smart. Yeah. Well, now you use it in Destiny 2. That Woo! game I haven't played. <laughs> Hosting over a thousand custom lines to discover, players can use the Destiny 2 ghost skill to ask the ghost to equip certain loadouts, send messages to friends, or even decide what to do next in the game. The ghost can even share lore about the universe of Destiny 2, all without even booting up the game. That's actually pretty rad, and also reminds me of the, um, the what's her name, the system in uh, Forza Horizon? I used to use Connect Without at all. I'd be like, oh. what should I do oh, next? Oh, the GPS. Yeah, what, I don't remember what its name is. <sighs> is it Anna? Maybe Anna. Yeah. You, she has a name. Yeah. And, but you, you could be like, show me what's nearby. Or like, take me to the next yeah. this thing. Again, I love Connect. I remember, I remember <laughs> uh, Skyrim had Connect controls where you could, you could, I don't know, say like stuff. Like cast spells or something. Mm -hmm. like that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you like, could do push Oh, yeah, yeah. You could do yeah. Like, a ton of stuff. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds like, hey, Connect is no more, but... Here's this. Well, I always <laughs> had this theory that Connect came too soon. Like Connect was too soon. Now people want these. People have these in their mm -hmm. houses, and that, mm -hmm. that's what Connect was trying to do. Just like several years too early, and effectively pushed the wrong way. And it's like I love the idea of this stuff. I love. I loved that I could turn my Xbox on without touching yeah. it. Like yep. if I could do that through my Echo, I'd be I'm, stoked. Dan Stapleton has long advocated for our reviews editor uh, and a hardcore PC junkie, but he uses his Xbox a lot for media stuff mm -hmm. and some games. But he's long advocated for why doesn't Microsoft just sell, uh, well, or maybe straight up integrate Alexa or the whatever the name of the Google, Google one is. Yeah, Home. Yeah, or, you can or do it. Like, and just get like, a Cortana app yeah, for Echo. And yeah, yeah, basically just sell the mic part of Connect yeah. so yeah. that you could do all the voice commands. And so does this work with PS4 and PC or just Xbox? Everything. Oh, uh, I assume it works oh, for yeah. Yeah. everything. Because it's not Connect yeah. integrated. But. It's not platform specific. So. Right. Uh, yeah, so, so if you're a Destiny 2 player... Uh, and you've got a, a Alexa at home, either the Echo or the Dot. Give it a go. Why not? Like try it out and uh, tweet me how it is. Because I yeah. kind of want to get one. Like I want to get the Dot or something and just play with this because oh, I've gotten what? really into Destiny and I live alone. So it's just like, hey, Ghost, please talk to me. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Destiny. I mean, I'm tell going me away story. for the holidays. You can borrow my mine if you wanted. Like I could literally just bring it in for you. It's very yeah. easy to use, very easy to set up. So mm. yeah, and like being able to switch loadouts and stuff by just telling it I think that's that very food, cool that's really helpful because a lot of times like I was saying earlier like I do use a destiny 2 app to change things it's like hey I have this certain gear on my use it for the item manager and all that yeah so it's like I have on my warlock and I wanted my titan and then right. instead of having to go and get through the app I can just you know have my ghost do it yeah which would be cool I, I even like the idea of the you know I'm sure it's it's all it does is it's pulling up the quest screen but it's like you know hey Alexa what should I do next yeah. And, oh, yeah. And then yeah. you just okay, pick one of the things. Yeah, I well, guess Forza Horizon that did side. that so well. Like, yeah. and, and even from I think the first game even had that integrated well. Like it it did that really smartly. It like just shows you where public events are nearby or something like that. Yeah. Cool. It is kind of funny though that if you think about it, you're talking to your robot in the game mm -hmm. through another robot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, I like it. Robot, could you tell the other robot that I want to know what to do now? <laughs> that I need a rocket launcher. <laughs> I I'm, like it. It's good. I'm too. There's so many robotic things now. I love robots. Uh, Ember cups, and I think they have like a voice activated thing. It's like your 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 so personal scary. robot <laughs> so in the scary. form of the ghost. Your person, mm -hmm. your ro your personal assistant robot has a personal assistant robot. Well, I I have a I have an Echo Dot, and I have a Roomba, and I always wish that I could tell my Echo to activate my Roomba. Oh, that sh totally <laughs> should be a there, thing. Yeah, but I want to be it, like, hey, robot, people... tell the other robot to vacuum. Yeah, <laughs> haven't people done stuff like that where it's like they tell like a Google Home to yeah, like literally that. Yeah, yeah. you can like, program like, them to do like weird things. Like, things hey, in two hours, them. say these exact words. <laughs> You know, and so then it's like it turns your coffee pot on. You get home, then so, you know. Well, like, you can you get <laughs> kitchen appliances that are compatible with like Alexa, basically. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen the two Google Home bots that like talk to each other? They saw that Twitch stream for like a really long time. Oh, but well, those yeah. the they ones get they have to deactivate. Super smart. Yeah, and it got really scary for a second. There thing. were definitely two Google AI that they had to deactivate because they created their own language because they decided yeah, English was, was inefficient. One. Yeah, and humans <laughs> like, oh, we're turning this off right now. <laughs> yep. this Elon is good. was right. You. No, it's, it's so too scary. smart. Yeah, that's okay. Oh no, it's fine. Yeah, Skynet. <laughs> Elon's pretty much <laughs> always are probably right, better so. than us anyway. It's fine. Yeah, it's like they'll fix everything. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> He's got this. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much it for the news this week. Uh, Alana, 
What can we spend our money on? Retail, nothing. Everything came out already. Nothing. All the big stuff. Uh, digitally, you can get Destiny Two: Curse of Osiris for thirty dollars. I think I actually thirty dollars. I, I couldn't find the price. Yeah, so I don't. If you don't already for have an amount the, of money, if you don't already have the impossible. you know like the expansion pass, I don't know. Yeah. Um, Where's Destin when I need him? A game called Oh My Godheads is fifteen dollars. <laughs> Boiling Bolt is twelve dollars. Blue Angels Aerobatic Flight Simulator is fifteen dollars. Soma is thirty dollars. Soma is very good. I've heard that. Yeah, it's great. I did not know that, that was coming to Xbox, yeah. but you should totally check it out. It's very is it creepy. Scary? It is, but it's atmospheric scary rather than like jump scare or aggressive mm. scary. It's creepy. That's the under um, wait, is that the underwater yes. one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I played that. It's very cool. It was in VR. Oh. Yeah. That sounds terrible. I think so. No, it was Ooh. cool. It was cool. Oh no, I, I think feel like I would I freak played. out. I didn't know it was in VR, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, Skyforce Reloaded is ten dollars. Rugby League Live for World Cup Edition is sixty dollars, and Hand of Fate Two, which I believe is Australian made, is twenty seven dollars. Look at Hand you. Hand of Fate's also very cool. Home team represent. And then I think Hello Neighbor is is out. Oh, is officially it? Officially, either this week or next week. It was delayed from I think uh, that's late a scary August. Game it wasn't too. on. It's it wasn't awesome, on the though. list. This like it wasn't out this as of this morning. Might be next week. Um, yeah, I did play. Yeah, Hello Neighbor is a very, very cool game as well. That's that's coming out, and then obviously next week we also have PUBG. So that's exciting. Yeah, that'll be the big one. Yeah, it's a big that deal. Is the big one. Yeah, big I'm one. very excited about it. What's going on marketplace side? Marketplace free trial for Wolfenstein Two. It's the first level, and your progress transfers. Definitely do that. Yeah, we mentioned a very it last good week. Game. But we're mentioning it again because that game's awesome. Yeah. I, I, it does always make me feel good when uh, people tweet me and say. Hey, I bought this based on how much you guys were talking right. up on Unlocked, and yeah. I love it. I've like, had a lot of that with Wolfenstein. Like Always people being like, that. I finally bought it and I finished it. Thank you. And I'm like, all right, this, uh, if I do anything good for the world, it's making people <laughs> play Wolfenstein. Yes. Um, December Games with Gold, we have Warhammer End Times Vernatide from December 1 to 31 on Xbox One. Back to the Future of the Game, December, <laughs> December 16 to January 15 on Xbox One. Child of Eden, uh, I really like that game. Uh, December 1, 2.15 on Xbox One and Xbox 360. Um, Child of Eden is uh, like a rhythm game. Sorry. Yeah, we Col talked it up really last week. Really colorful. Oh, you yeah. talked about it? Yeah, I really, really, really enjoyed it. It's um, very good. Uh, and also it's, had a connect option, it did, by the way. It but <laughs> it actually had bad connect support. That was Wasn't no Marty saying it was good connect I didn't think week? it worked very well. Miranda didn't oh, say man. that. I didn't, feel like... I did not think it worked well. <laughs> oh no! We'll have to go know. play play the tape because it, it was like a thing where you had to like use your hands to like touch the things, and it just was super inaccurate. Also, my setup could have been bad, but yeah, it didn't work very well. That for also me. happens. Great game though. Um, and then Marlow Briggs and the Mask of Death, December sixteen to thirty one on Xbox One and Xbox three sixty. I don't know what that is, but we didn't cool. either. No, I have no, no idea. Oh. No. It's, it's an old arcade. Game. It's an old three sixty arcade game, apparently. Gotcha. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's free, so why not grab it? Uh, okay, unlock box trivia. Just playing for pride here. The trophy. Oh, I'm so sad that you missed it last week. You got to watch this. I, we broke out the clip. Okay, I've uh, seen the trophy. It's on Marty's desk. Yes, proudly. How's Justin <laughs> doing? You should watch the clip. Did he cry? It's really good. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> it was really good. What uh, what happened here last week? So this week, just for fun, Trevor, whose gamer tag is Pillar of Awesome. I like that sort of Halo reference there. Good Halo mm. reference. Twist. He asks, and it is a Halo question. The Needler in Halo is always evolving, which is true. In Halo 2, he's curious, Halo 2, what was the ammo capacity One in the clip, as it were? Mm -hmm. uh, was it 30 needles, 20, 25, or 22? Now, remember, you know, the Needler has been weird mm -hmm. over time. It's changed so. a bunch. It's one of my favorite weapons. Other people yeah. hate it, yeah, but it I is really my like it. Absolute favorite weapon. I love it. Yeah. It is my favorite. So good. Not in the it's, it's like it was good, and then they nerfed it, and then they made it, it good again, again, and then kind of nerfed it again, and now in Halo 5, it's really good again. I, yeah. I never, even like back in the day, didn't tend to use it in multiplayer, but I always use it in the campaign. I, I always mean, picked it up. Yeah. Anytime I found it, I was just like, yep. oh, my best friend. And yeah. in Halo 2, you could dual wield those things right. and really screw right. somebody up fast. I miss the best. Yeah. <laughs> the good old days. Uh, Mark, I'm going to go your way first. Oh. I'm going to go with the off-the-wall number here. I'm going to say D, 22. Okay. All right. Miranda, any any? do you remember here? <sighs> That's a bad thing is I don't remember. I'm just going to go with C. Old reliable. Yeah. 25. <laughs> I I absolutely don't remember, but I was thinking about doing D also because 22 is like, why would you put a random number That's in there? That's a weird one. To throw us <laughs> off, but then 25 it, is... Then does it's that almost mean it's, definitely there to throw us off. <laughs> it could also mean it's like either 20, 22, or 25. If I think I'm going to go with C. All right, Got joining it. Miranda. Complete guess. And the the Sea Patrol. Yep. 
25. Uh, nobody gets it. It is actually 30. Damn it. And oh, wow. you had 30. Because I, my logic so was behind 25. You it was like it had to be it had to be high because it was you could dual wield it in, in Halo 2, and I've mostly played Halo 1. But hmm. uh, there you go. Good job, Trevor. Stump nice. the panel. Yeah. I always like the fun Halo questions like that. So again, one more sh one more main show. Keep those trivia questions coming. Send those Xbox trivia questions to me at unlocked at IGN.com. Please include four multiple choice answers and note the correct one in your email. And we'll uh, test the panel one last time next week. Uh, I think, assuming Marty and uh, Destin are back, I got to make sure Marty like brings the trophy next week. And it's just, on his desk, I think. Boom. So just, he's got it. Just so Destin <laughs> has to look at it. It's got to be a good time. Speaking of. Yeah. Well, Oh, she's, she's she just, finally chilled oh, she's out. Good. Okay, good. Yeah, she's okay. back over here behind. Like, me. I haven't heard from the dog. Anymore. She's asleep. Yeah, she. Doing great. <laughs> after good. you know, it Aww. seemed like she was getting restless on the Dude. table, so I let her wander. But then she started to like she's chew on tape? something. So I was like, yeah, that's not that's not good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Finally settled in. So, uh, okay. Uh, before we roll, uh, IGN Prime. If you would like to a support IGN and b at the same time, get yourself an ad free IGN viewing experience. Uh, we will take 30 of your U.S. dollars, and in return, we will give you no ads, and we will give you uh, the occasional uh, beta or even free game as well. So go to IGN.com slash Prime if you happen to be interested in that. Uh, Miranda, what are you up to? Where can we follow you? Say mm, hi. I am updating a lot of wikis. Very is my life right now. The most uh, valuable things yeah. that IGN offers. Yeah, um, and also just kind of working on some final anime features for the year. Um, you can follow me at Havoc Grows, and that's Havoc with a K. And I realized that it is not something I played. I played Narcosis, which is also an underwater horror game. Mm. Gotcha. That one's in VR. Narcosis, gotcha. Or someone's not. You should have an alt account, I think, that's at Yay Anime. At Yay Anime. That would yeah. be good too. That's just so all like anime, an anime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, tw I tweet about a lot of anime. I'm catching up on a lot of stuff. Excellent. Yeah. Alana? Uh, you can find me on all of the things at Charlanazad, and I'm going to be at the Game Awards this week and PSX this weekend. We'll look for you in the crowd of both. It should be a pretty small crowd, yeah. but yeah, I will also be in the crowd at the, the um, PSX conference as well. I'm very excited about that. We're streaming both, I believe, on uh, IGN. We're for not totally sure on what we can stream not, from PSX. Sure. Okay, so definitely the Game Awards. Sure definitely, yeah, definitely the Game Awards. Which I, I, believe, I believe is 6 p.m. Pacific. Uh, it starts at 5.30. Yes. Uh, that's, oh, that's the pre-show, pre -show, yeah. right? But there's sometimes announcements. And that's it goes true. from uh, 6 to 9, I believe. We have a wiki about how to watch it yes. on Yes, thank you. A hey, wiki, so, you say. <laughs> wiki, <yeah. laughs> My people. Uh, yeah. A lot of us are staying late. Like, uh, yeah, a few people are flying down. Uh, I'll be here until uh, 10 or so covering it. That's how and, those nights uh, tend to be. A lot of pizza. Yeah. Water and pizza <laughs> yeah. for everyone. And I'm hoping for something that's not pizza. I do love pizza. You should get the word in with Sam yeah. now. I mean, yeah, like we should just plan different? that today then. I've, I've so heard there are, are talks or something different. There you Ooh. go. Inside. That's good. Sandwiches? In and out truck? Maybe. Catering? Ooh, Ooh oh. I want that. <laughs> you know what's not going to happen? That. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you need like a minute. Well, they'd have to drive the truck into the office. We're That's fine. We'll, we have to we'll cover make it. the game. We'll make it work. True. <laughs> just like the Witcher statue. We'll get it up the elevator somehow. Oh, we have to cut it in <laughs> off? Yeah. Any, uh, just cut the truck in half. <laughs> <laughs> Alon, any, any fun IGN projects of yours we can sh check out or should be looking out for? Um, there's stuff that I'm working on, but I can't talk about it yet. Fair enough. Yeah, but uh, there'll be a video up next week that you know about that I've been I've been working on for a while. Um, and, and I had spoken before, and a few people reached out to me about a feature I've been working on for a super long time about just about the price of video games. And that one I've like split into two two separate projects, and I've now interviewed like I think four people in publishing and six developers. But it's taking a very long time for me to put all this together. So mm. I, I don't think it'll be up until like next year at this rate. So. Always. It's been tough. A lot of people want to remain anonymous, which I understand, yeah. Yeah. but it also makes things difficult. Yeah. Can't rush greatness. Yeah. That's how it goes. It's going to be a very big feature. <laughs> Mark Medina. Oh, man, so much. So much. Uh, so let's see. We're doing a lot of features right now. We're calling them the look back forward, look back, look forward features, where it's like we review the cool stuff that happened over the years. So we're working on a bunch of those. Those will start filtering out soon and then what to look for next year i think we're actually saving those for next year this year so cool. uh to kind of not bog down december so much uh some things i want to plug though uh we did the we i've been, I've been doing some speed running features about nice. mario 64 mario odyssey and i'm going to do another one on mario 64 uh 
let me know on Twitter at Mark underscore Medina if you guys want speedrunning content because I like making it. Uh, they don't do super number views, but they're pretty I niche. Think it's cool. So like, I'd like to know what people think. Like the comments are really good, but the the you know the payoff isn't super there. It is for me, but like you know, you know. it sounds like you get unfiltered. It. <laughs> you, get, you get lots of good comments and lots of thumbs up, but yeah, the, that view count maybe not, not where you wanted. But Whoa. so it's like uh, if you like it, share it. Yeah, Friends. like let yeah. me know if you like them. Share them with your friends. Like I and, love and watching I wanna... portal ones. Yes. They're crazy. Well, and one thing that uh, I ones. I did like this much work in, and you did the other ninety nine point eight percent. You did you, you put together a really cool thing. The best of Xbox yeah. games with gold. Yeah, we did that for it. Xbox and PS four, and yeah. it was it was basically like. It was, it was kind of funny when you think about it. It's like, hey, here's all the games that were free that, I mean, they're not free anymore, so too bad. But it, I used it as more of a, because I, I love, like, consumer, pro-consumer things like yeah. Games Pass. I've talked about it a ton of times on here. And and the free games, we make gameplay videos for them every month because it's like I want people to, like, they're free games. Yeah, like, take advantage. I was tweeting yeah, yesterday, forget. I have, like, 300 PSN games. <laughs> um, it's a lot of video games. And, uh, and so, yeah, I made these features to kind of be like, hey, these, this is the best things both of the companies offered us this year. If that's not a good enough reason to get these subscriptions, like, I don't know what, what it would is. be. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it's like, yeah, the games aren't free anymore, but like. It's also like you know, a good like, look at what this year offered. Yeah. And then it's to a like, celebration, wanna, right? Kind of look at that's, it and say, that's hey, kind of what, what it was. Yeah. It was like a celebration. Yeah. Like, what can you yeah. also maybe expect for next year of like, yeah. games that you get? So. And then uh, one more thing. Yes. <laughs> I forgot I was going to talk to you about this Please. before, but I'm going to just do it now anyways. Uh, as many people on Twitter know, uh, Kirsten uh, left. And if most most people know her as our like events coordinator. And when she left, she left first Friday to me. And I'm like, how am I going to make this awesome? Well, I figured out a way with Ryan McCaffrey. Uh, so first Friday is coming back on January 12th. And then we're going to do a normal first Friday, uh, first Friday panel. Then we're going to do a little bit of a meetup, and then we're going to transition into Podcast Unlocked Live. Oh, snap. Woo! I picked Podcast Unlocked because that's the podcast I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with a special guest, Gary Witta. He's going to come uh, He's going to come join us. Uh, and uh, yeah, Gasp. And, uh, oh, Gaz, that's his nickname. Oh, I G-A-Z. thought you were like Gasp. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gary of- Witta is going to come, and he's going he's gonna to hang out with people. We're going to rank... I, we haven't decided on a number, but we're going to rank the best Xbox 360 games with, with the uh, with the audience that are there. Hey, Gary wrote the fir- the initial draft of uh, Rogue One. Yeah, he wrote he Book of Eli. Book of Eli, first uh, Blu-ray I've ever watched. He's written a couple of Telltale <laughs> game episodes. Yeah, uh, he and he was way back in the day. Uh, Gary, Gary is basically the best case scenario outcome for our careers because yeah. <laughs> he was uh, at one point the editor in chief of PC Gamer magazine wow. before uh you know transitioning over to big boy writing yeah writing <laughs> yeah <laughs> big big kid writing i guess would be the yeah well he he hangs out with the kind of funny people a lot and i i i I became a fan of his. I didn't really know who he was, like you know, movie writer. Like you know, yeah. uh, I think he's hilarious, <laughs> and uh, people seem to like him. And I was like, hey, you want to do this? And he was like, yeah. So he's really excited to do it. So uh, uh, we're going to be putting out an Eventbrite uh, next week, giving all the details. Exciting. But uh, if you happen to be in San Francisco, come hang with us, and we will. Yeah. We'll just we'll uh, crowd rank. Yeah, the best 360 games ever. Yeah, which is always it'll be a, a total exercise. like four tough. to five hour event, but uh, and it's here in the office. Uh, so yeah, if you want to tour the office, if you want to meet cool people, uh, the panel right now is unlocked. So it'll be uh, Ryan, Alana, Marty, uh, Gary Witta, and Destin, and then I'll be kind of just hosting the whole event. MC Mark, oh. yeah. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Excellent. Cool. I'm excited. So Good. come to cool. that. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at DMC underscore Ryan. Uh, always want to plug Unfiltered because that is my little pet project yeah. that uh, the people that do like it, uh, the people that do consume it seem to like it, mm-hmm. but not enough people consume it. Yeah. <laughs> you can find it on podcast services or on uh, their segments on YouTube and of course IGN as well. The yeah, the December episode goes up next week and it is uh, of interest to Xbox fans. Um, go, reaching back in time a little bit. 
on that one. So excited to share that. I'll talk more about that next week. And of course, still there's the uh, the current episode is still the Moldenhauer brothers, Chad and Jared, who, by the way, uh, are nominated. Their game mm-hmm. Cuphead is nominated for Game of the Year at yeah. IGN, as well as of course Xbox Game of the Year and, and best art, direction. art direction and I Music. think best original sound. Uh, a number of categories, Cuphead, with some uh, significant list of nominations. And, yeah, the best of 2017 awards for IGN are – all the nominees are up. So yeah. please go, go take vote. a look. Yeah. Yeah. Go take please a look do. at IGN. Yeah, we'll have the, the reader votes, all that stuff. So do take a look at that. And uh, I believe that wraps it up. We did it. We done. Mark, thank yep. you so much, as thank always, you. for joining Yes, sir. Uh, Miranda, always great to see you as Thank well. Thank you so much. And Alana, great to have you back. Thank you. Uh, and we will see everybody for, well, one of one last tr- traditional regular last full episode. episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. next week. So until then, happy gaming, my friends.